you know uh <clears throat> um it's it's crazy the world we live in huh think about it it's crazy the world we live in it's crazy I cannot believe the world we live in man and I, I'm sorry for <laughs> smiling and laughing I I uh took some medicinal herbs to keep my mood calm and happy so you know without it I would be very depressed so I got got I'm trying to be be happy in my life you know so you know I I come on here a lot and I feel oppressed because I'm homeless in the United States in a place where they have more houses than homeless people uh you know and i you know and i feel oppressed as a homeless man and but at the same time it's true it's 100 percent true that i i i i live in heaven compared to um people in gaza right now think about it. and 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 that's not that's not to say we should accept what whatever we have as you know just being homeless in the united states you know what i'm saying i'm at least i don't have to worry about planes flying overhead wondering if they're gonna drop something on me that's gonna take out my me you know what i'm saying and any, anybody around me i don't have to worry about that really you know what i'm saying you got you got you got mass uh pew pew guys you know what i'm saying you got people like that it's it's not always safe on the streets of America, but it's a lot safer than a country that's suffering under imperialism and, you know, an outright genocide with bombs being dropped on them. You know, it's a, it's a lot better than that. So I have this privilege, American privilege, and, you know, I think, <clears throat> you know, I didn't choose to be born in the United States. Uh, 200 years ago even before that and after that and still you know um you know the indigenous people of the united states are being genocided you know throughout all of the united states history that's how what their nation was founded upon you know but my family came here 100 years ago and the italians were not seen as white a hundred years ago when we got here but now i'm seen as white and i do benefit slightly you know socially from white privilege if i use it you know but i don't <laughs> obviously I, I mean maybe i do maybe i get more donations because i'm white you know when i beg and 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 that's that's something that definitely i could i could see just on anecdotal evidence you know just as being true you know in, in a majority white society. So, you know, white privilege does exist and I do benefit from it. And so, you know, I think it's my duty as someone who was born in the United States and lives in the United States to, to come to the truth and to speak the truth and to know the truth and continue to educate myself and realize it's, there's no dogmatic truth and to continue continuous process of analyzing things you know and and the facts um um so i i i think anyone that lives in the united states right now we collectively every single person in the united states has a duty you know and it's our duty to get every other citizen of the United States on board, or at least the majority of us, and stop, you know, stop this supporting of Israel, you know, stop uh, the money flowing from the government of the United States to Israel, and then eventually make a new, make a new government, a new socialist government with uh you know certain uh privileges and powers for the indigenous 
uh, nations that's try to, uh, you know, um, think about in one of my other videos, I'm not 100% uh, educated, you know, I, I'm trying to, I, I always try to learn every day, every day. <laughs> I'm out here trying to learn, trying to learn knowledge and understanding of the world around me. And, you know, that's that's the base base, uh, you know, understanding that we have to we have to admit and come to as United States citizens. OK, boom. This nation was founded on genocide and slavery. Boom. This nation influenced other nations to do the same thing and even funded its own projects to do the same thing in other parts of the world like Israel you know uh, a, a youtuber I really appreciate bad empanada has a video of how you know you know Hitler's and the Nazis uh, colonialism and you know taken over places was influenced by the United States like they n n not only metaphorically but like literally like literally they directly said or quoted the United States manifest destiny and you know even before this before the 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 German you know before that thing uh, there was a lot of German uh, intellectuals and like, you know, people who, who would communicate with the United States and were inspired by the United States expansionism and genociding of the indigenous peoples, you know, and the natives, indigenous native people, you know, and, uh, you know, and they wanted to do that in Europe, you know. And that's what that's what, what what the Nazis' plan was. Um, so you know, and then ev they made their own state, Israel, to have this white settler, you know, country and power in uh, the Middle East, and they've been genociding the Palestinians for so many years, and and, and this is the same process that the United States went through. Okay, so, you know, in the United States, they tr they try to it teach us that we live in some postmodern world that, uh, you know, hi history is over. You know, we, we, we've achieved the peak of humanity. There's there's nothing more to know, nothing more to learn, <laughs> nothing, nothing more to, to advance to. We, we, we are the peak of civilization, but it's not true. Okay. Uh, we we see ourselves the genocide happening at, on Gaza. Um, you you can look it up, see all the videos for yourself. They're they're literally and, and see them literally talking about that they don't care that they're killing children and civilians. That that the civilians are 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 they're at war with the civilians too, not just the Hamas. Like li literally, this is what the Israeli. Uh, officials are saying, you know, and and they're doing it in their actions, and the the YouTuber Bad Empanada has a really good video where he um he just put out um you know showing that legally by international law at the UN, you know Israel is currently committing genocide, you know, and by all facets of the law. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> we're seeing it. it. It's happening right here in our face. And it's it's really impacting me, you know what I'm saying, on a personal level. You know, as I'm sure it does so many other people, just seeing, you know, this what happened in the nineteen forties. The Holocaust, it's happening right now with the Palestinians, you know, and, you know, we, we, we can't say, 
we can't accept this idea that we, we, we achieve peak civilization, that things like the Holocaust or things that we, we, we grew from or learned from or something, it's, it's literally currently happening in our faces. And, and, and the government that we submit to as United States citizens it, it is, is liter literally funding it. L literally without the United States, this genocide will not be happening. The government of the United States is directly responsible for the genocide in Gaza right now. It, it, this, this country was founded on genocide and slavery. You know, we, 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 we have to fight t to make a new state that, that's completely different from the one we have now. We, we, we cannot accept, we cannot fix the United States uh, current government. We cannot fix the system. You know, we have, we have to make a whole new government for the people, by the people, you know, because what we have now, you know, it, 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 it's like they want to, they want to talk about Orwellian. They're literally committing genocide, like literally our government that we submit to as American citizens is, is, is literally the only reason this genocide is happening. They created Israel and have been funding this genocide. And without the United States, Israel could not do this by itself. It's all United States funded. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, uh, we have a duty as United States citizens, we have a duty to all come together and oppose what our government is doing. Okay, because it's it's manufactured consent or consent by uh by uh what do you, what do you call that whenever you just like you're not like a di not submissive but like you just do what they say uh and and don't care about it. You like uh Fuck, what's the word? Uh, complicit, maybe? Maybe it is a better word, but, but, but you basically don't care. You're just accepting what's going on. Not not oppressed, that's not the word I'm looking for. But I'm, I'm saying that, you know, every American citizen, in my eyes, is directly responsible for the genocide if they're not speaking out against it, you know, if they're not speaking out against it and trying to get other people to come together against this idea and they're just staying neutral or even supporting Israel, then they are di di directly for, they're directly the reason this genocide is happening because our government li literally would not be able to do this if we all came together or at least the majority of us came together and demanded them to stop or did something about it you know the thing is <clears throat> uh bad empanada made another made a uh, good uh uh what do you call it example in south africa when they had apartheid the United States supported them for a long time, okay? But eventually the public pen opinion in the United States citizens changed and they were more and more against it. And so we do actually have power as the people to stop our government from funding this genocide for for being the propagator of this genocide without the United States government, this genocide would not happen. It's literally our government. And therefore, it is us citizens who submit to this government that are responsible. You know, unless we're coming together to stop them and to educate others to join our movement to stop them. And we're complicit in this. If we're complicit in this, then boom. You, 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 you're the reason that genocide is happening. And, you know, for me, I, I believe in God. You know, I, that's, that's, that's my thing. I always believe in God and I love God 100%.
And, and th that's what makes me like, I don't care if I'm homeless in my car in the United States. I don't care if I'm homeless in my car in the United States my whole life. I'm in the United States, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I can use my time to try to be a voice for change and to educate others and to help others organize for change. Okay, because the thing is, I'm not be gonna be complicit and go work a job that, that funds this America system, system or just be consistent and be happy in a job in the American system. I'm gonna work against this system, this American system that's committing genocide. I'm gonna work for us citizens all coming together for change, organizing together as the people, the true masses for change. And I'm not gonna accept the United States government. I'm not. I'm. I, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna accept it. We, as the people, have the ultimate power. You know what I'm saying? That they, they govern because they have the consent. The consent of the governed. They don't have my consent. They don't have my consent. Okay? So that's that and that's what we that's what we want to spread. We we have to say no. You cannot consent to this. You're consenting to genocide by consenting to the United States government. So uh, I do not consent to this. I'm a, a United States citizen. I'm I'm working to educate others about the truth. And organize us together so we can change and not submit to the fucking United States government. Because the United States government is evil. The United States government is currently committing genocide in Gaza. That's the United States. Yeah, is Israel's the ones doing it. But they wouldn't have the money, the weapons, the power, the security to do it. If they didn't have the United States, the United States directly funding it currently, they're sending more and more money to keep up. Just like when Ukraine started, they started sending all the money. Now they're like, OK, now we got to start. We got to start crunching the numbers. See, it's not a money printer. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 they literally just push a different number in a computer. Can you imagine that? Because I watched a video on this, like literally the United States government has unlimited money. Because their reserves are based in their own currency and they have currency sovereignty. There's, I, I'm not the best to explain it, but I did watch a few videos educating myself on this topic more. On how the modern financial system works. And it's crazy. They literally have unlimited. They can just literally put any number in a computer and just give Israel or Ukraine however much money and, and you know so what matters more than I say is the real economy you know it's not about how many numbers you have on a bank account it's about how how many weapons can you manufacture how many actual resources do you have how many laborers do you have how many people do you have in those specialized fields that you that you need for that specific labor you need labor and resources that's 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 always been what it's about okay they can have all their fake money in the computer all they want they can have make themselves have gazillion dollars but at the end of the day it matters how much you actually have you know what i'm saying but the United States does have a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, backup military and it's been selling all that to Ukraine, Israel, other places. They have a lot of uh, old military equipment backup, like, you know, just they just be, keep have been manufacturing so much every year for so many decades. So the the these major corporations profit uh, from all this weapons manufacturing like Boeing and a lot of other industries and then they pay the politicians like the, their com campaign donations of millions of dollars like okay boom yes my name is Joe Biden and I'm voting I'm voting to allow Boeing to have all the government funds and whatever, whatever it wants to keep on producing. And they're like, I'll, I'll get you a campaign uh, donation next year. Don't worry, Uncle Joe. I got you. <laughs> that's, 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 that's how they do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like 
the people in government are just pay are just people from privileged families who have a pri you you know I heard someone describe it kind of perfectly before it's they they said politics is 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 like for the for the rich people that couldn't get into Hollywood. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The rich the rich people in politics, they couldn't get into Hollywood. They're not that great of actors. But they can accept bribes and just say whatever people want them to say, so What am I talking about? I'm I'm talking about there's genocide happening in, in Gaza right now. And two hundred years ago, even before that <laughs> and even after that but around two, 200 years ago most of the <coughs> indigenous native population of the United States was genocided by the United States government and the military and the settlers now as I've said many times over and over my family was not part of the settlers we came here 100 years ago and we were not seen as white when we came here Italians were not seen as white but I know I do benefit from from white privilege slightly you know in, in a slight way like I might get more donations being a beggar I don't try to use my white privilege uh, to get into a good job or nothing I'm just uh, someone who's trying to be a, a socialist theoretician and writer and uh, educator, organizer, you know. And so the, the thing is the United States uh, government was a bunch of rich white landowners, okay, who wanted to make their own empire. And, you know, they, um, they founded this country on genocide and slavery and genocide and slavery has been the continued practice of this country ever since and it still happens today they want to convince you that we live in a postmodern world they say that we've achieved some kind of peak civilization please if anybody's watching this anybody's watching this who, who's not you know who doesn't understand all this already or maybe who who identifies as right wing even though they're not they're not wealthy or you know just an average person an average working class person but you identify as right right wing there's a lot of people like that where i grew up all right in the south anybody watching this please understand that we do not live in the peak civilization at the end of civilization okay we're still uh in the process of trying to create a better world okay and we currently if you're an american citizen like me you're currently the citizen of the most oppressive evil nation on earth that so many people around the earth realize all the are the oppressors of the earth who have committed genocide you know countless times in countless places across the world and have funded genocides and i stopped people from um their free democratic process because they didn't like the system of government that that local people decided and they 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 wanted to have the legal right to buy their land and and you know create their factories and extract their resources and you know make the local population work for them for for just barely enough to survive in, in, in whatever you know exchange they have you know and or make them slaves even and the people sometimes they would rise up against them you know all over the world this happened and uh the United States would send so much bombs, so much military to try to genocide them and take them out for daring not to allow the United States and NATO to come extract their resources, plunder their country and enslave the local population. So 
this is the legacy of the United States. This is why we cannot accept the United States. And we must fight for the creation of, of a new state by the people that give certain powers and protections and privileges to the native indigenous nations that still exist here. So, <coughs> please just understand, you know, the United States is evil, you know, they try to try to compare like this. If you are a citizen of Nazi Germany, would you want to be remembered as one of the people who supported the Nazi regime? Would you would you want your legacy to be even the somebody who was just fine with it, who wasn't really an out, you know, a uh, flamboyant supporter, but somebody who was okay with it because they they it didn't affect them negatively. It's, it seemed maybe to be in their favor. A lot of Americans think like this. I had even one of, one of my uh, Latino friends, you know, he's brown, he's not even white, but he told me, he's like, oh, you know, I support Israel because I want America to win because we're Americans. And, you know, it's, it's not uncommon, you know, it's, it's not just white people who are American nationalists who enjoy the the American privilege they have and are okay with people around the world being genocided so they 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 can so because they think this will help maintain the United States' status and you know as the as a rich country and the most economically dominant country you know and you know there's this American dream illusion you know, that you can become the richest man in the world one day. You don't want the system to end. You don't want capitalism to end because, hey, man, I'm going to start a great business and be the next Elon Musk <laughs> in the next 10 or 20 years. So if, if we end capitalism, how am I going to be the next Elon Musk? Think about it. That's, that's how a lot of Americans think. They're like, how am I ever going to be John D. Rockefeller? If we end capitalism and increase the living standard for the majority of the population, not for the majority, for the for all of the population, if 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 we increase the well, the majority, because there's a small percentage of rich people who their living standard will go down exactly. So they're like, okay, well, if if, if we increase the 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 material well-being of all of the citizens who are suffering and impoverished but then uh, boom i'm not gonna be become the next jeff bezos now oh hell no oh hell no i'm a, i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to live in my trailer and work on my work on my rap and i'm probably gonna be the next eminem and then boom you know, then then I'll show those dumb dumb socialists how great capitalism is. That that that's how Americans think. Okay, that's not how I think. Let me make that clear. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, pe pe people people are poor and suffering, and they want to continue to work for this system and suffer in it because they b b believe. That oh oh I'm gonna be rich one day I'm I'm gonna be the next Bill Gates I'm gonna be the next Jay Z I'm gonna be the next Taylor Swift Nicki Minaj you know and, and, and the fact is that for there to be people like that there literally has to be all these people who are not that you know what I'm saying it's like. There's a reason they got celebrity status because 
Not everybody can be a celebrity, you know. Uh, that's not true, Thorax. Go, 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 go read what Mao Zedong said about religion, about the freedom of religion, you know. Um, it, it, it was actually Stalin uh, during the uh, attack on Moscow. Um, when he, he called upon the uh, church, um, the heads of the church, and he said, look, look, fuck it, I need you guys, please help me rally the people, because if not, if we don't have enough morale, this, this city's going to fall. I need your help. Okay, and boom. The head priests of the church message were broadcast. And they gave hope and courage to the people defending the capital of the Soviet Union against the Nazis. And they successfully defended it. You know, um, Fidel Castro himself identified as a Catholic for a long time. And um, there's always been a strong uh, religious uh, presence in Cuba. And it's, it's not persecuted against. There's religious people in Vietnam. There's religious people in China. You know, um, it's just... They don't get tax breaks from the government, which I support. Okay, boom. You ever everybody knows so many of these churches are run like a business. Boom. The preacher makes does, does a short feel good message once a week and just says, "Yo, empty your pockets now. The church needs money." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's a sweet gig. It's a sweet gig, honestly. But and then you don't even have to pay taxes on that shit. Come on, now that's 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 unfair. You already making it out good by doing that. So, I think that's where the complaint comes from. But I think someone's trying to get me off topic. We need to we need to understand what was important. You oh, but 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 I will say this actually. Uh, I've been I've always been wanting to make and there's a lot of religious Marxists regardless and so I'm not you know so, somewhere thing you know but uh you know I, I consider myself a defender of people's religious freedoms you know you said what well, are you saying you are a celebrity haha uh no I'm not saying I'm a celebrity I'm saying that people want to keep up a system that oppresses the majority which includes them for the benefit of a small minority group of people just because they have a dream and a wish that they'll be among that group one day the famous saying goes uh when the education is not liberating the dream of the oppressed is to become the oppressor so, you know, <clears throat> um, um, I, I want to be a liberating educator. So God bless. Um, you know, I, I, I love God, but I love atheists too. My belief in God is 100% personal. You know, I, I, I just have a personal relationship with a higher power. Uh, no, I am not Angeline. But I believe we live in a material world. You know, I don't believe in dogma. I believe in uh, dialectical materialism. 
you know that we live in a, a world with a bunch of contradicting material forces that are constantly uh, working against each other which create emergences to new things you know con work in a constantly changing and developing world you know nothing static <clears throat> I guess that's all I have for today